Hey, welcome to Accra, the ever vibrant, cosmopolitan, multicultural capital city of Ghana. I'm so excited to be back here in Accra. It's been a long time away from the city and I'm finally here, so that's good for me. <laughs> anyway, today I'm here with Catherine. And Catherine is from China, but she currently lives and work in Namibia. She's here in Ghana for the first time ever. And of course, I have the responsibility of showing her around a little bit. And while we do that, I want you to come with us. So let's go. Of course, we made a quick stop at the Black Star Square and the Black Star Gate. This is a really important monument um, here in Ghana. And if yep. you make a stop here, you like definitely that. need to take a picture here. <laughs> Of course, we also visited the newly renovated Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. So the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park is not new. It's been around since 1991. It has been open to the public since 1992. But last year, it was closed down for renovation. And so it was just a couple of weeks ago that it was actually opened. Um, currently, the entrance fees for the park is 100 CDs for foreigners, adults, and then 25 CDs for Ghanaian adults. I'm going to keep all the details in the description box so you can check it out. So I feel like if you had no visit to the old park, you probably would not appreciate the renovation because this park has seen a lot of changes. For example, this reception is spanking new. It wasn't there before and it's so well done right now. Uh, the museum itself has been expanded and you know, it's so neatly and well spaced now. It's really beautiful to be inside. There are spaces you cannot take photographs or videos. And so, yeah, you should take note of that while you're going to the park but i definitely definitely recommend that if you're in ghana you should make it a point to visit the park So this entrance leads you to the Freedom Walk. This is the room where you get to hear speeches by Kwame Nkrumah um, or rather watch them. You get to read quotes by him before he was president and why he was president. Unfortunately, you can take pictures inside, but there's an exit where you can take a picture like this. So this entrance leads you into the museum where you get to read about the life of Kwame Nkrumah, see photographs of him and other leaders while he was alive, and photographs of him and his family and items he used. And right opposite the museum is his final resting place. Um, so Kwame Nkrumah has been buried three times, one in Guinea, second he was brought to Nkrofo, which is his hometown, and then final, final resting place is here. And now next to him is his wife, whose last wish was to be buried next to his her husband and so Fathia has also been buried here also made a stop at the Makala market, one of the biggest open air markets we have here in Ghana. And then the National Museum. Thank you. 
end of course we had some good Ghana jollof after our tour guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget if you are heading here and you want to have some amazing exciting tours you can always get in touch with me I have tours to several parts of Ghana and some parts of West Africa it will be an absolute pleasure to host you